Fishing World with Shaq and Fat Cat Newton coming at you. Ha, 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 ha. Listen, man, today I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you about something that's very important, man. Something that needs to be addressed. This probably will be one of my most composite videos ever. The most importantest things that... There are things that I'm going to go over in this video that, that have been bestowed upon me from myself of things that I've taught myself over the years because nobody taught me anything but myself because, as we all know, I'm the best fisherman I ever met. And uh, what we're talking about today is a very serious thing in the world, especially in the fishing world. Bass bullies. The fishing game, it's, it's getting crazy, man. A lot of people picking on people and, and bodies of water, man, get a whole lot more pressure than back in 87. And so you got guys rolling up on guys and just being mean to each other. So I'm going to teach you today how to protect yourself on the water from these bass bullies. Here's the deal, man. I, I was on the water today, and believe it or not, somebody tried to bully me. And you know me, I'm not having it, man. I'm, like I say, I'm water wall, tree top tall, the best fisherman I ever saw. You know, changing this fishing game cast by cast, because all I do is catch big bass. And I told old boy where to go, you know. I said, hey, guess what? You can kiss my A-double hockey stick if you want, because I ain't going nowhere. So we're going to go to this. I'll, this is what happened. You tell me what you think. You tell me if I handle the situation correctly, okay? Hey, the fishing world with shaking fat cat dude coming at you. Doing with a pond hopping today. It's about that time of the year, man. Everything's warming up. The ice is thawing out. Look at me. Look at that. A little pack. I can't, oh, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. <laughs> a little cash and pistol grip. I thought a little bit of jig action right there. It may not be a jig, but I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to call it a jig. And I'm going to do is just, we're going to catch something for y'all to show y'all. You basically the, 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 the common root of mythos of, 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 of pond fishing early season. Okay. That's all we're doing. By the way, no idea whose dog this is. Um, no idea if it's even really a dog. It could be some kind of coyote or wolf. Not sure. He... What's up, boss? You doing all right? Hey! What are you doing here? Uh, what's it look like, Bobby? I'm fishing. I gave you permission to fish this pond. I didn't think I needed permission to fish this pond. I <laughs> saw some signs up there that said no trespassing, but nothing said no fishing, so... I thought it meant like no trespassing where the signs are hanging at. I went past the signs and there's the body of water. So I'm not up there where the signs are. I don't see a sign right here where I'm fishing at. Why in the world do you dress like that? Because I'm water, water wall, treetop tall. Why? What do you what mean? mean? Why aren't you dressed like this? What does that even mean? Look, man, I don't want any trouble. I'm here fishing, minding my own business. Uh, so look, 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 I'm gonna need you to leave. I'm gonna need you to leave. This is my property. This is my property. There's no way I'm walking off my own property. There's no way I'm leaving this hold because I know Big Belly Kelly's look, up in here. We've really got a problem here. You're about to have a problem, bud. I've told you, do not approach me. Let's do go. not. Let's go. Let's go where? Let's go right now. Where are we going? To the ground. Are you threatening me? To the ground. Okay. I'm telling you right now, bud, I'm the wrong dude, okay? What the hell is that? This. Oh. That's right. what it is, bud. All right. Listen, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you. Kumite, have you ever heard of a Kumite? 1987 Kumite champion right here, bud. Look. These right here, you, yeah, go that, go, guys, go that way. Yeah, go that way. I'll be here fishing my water and hope. Yeah, you better be gone by the time I'm... Okay. I'm telling you, I'm coming back. Yeah, whatever. Again, if we call the cops. So, folks, hopefully you guys agree with how I handled that situation. I think I de-elevated the situation like, like a professional. Um, the guy came at me in an aggressive manner. I was minding my own business, fishing a body of water. And, you know, you... <laughs> You're dealing with with, with, with an all, all all American Kumite fighter, um, and I could I can't I could have put that on him in a heartbeat, but I restrained it, it, it myself from. Last thing I gotta do is hurt a guy, and then I'm I'm off off of everything by high kick. But listen, real quick, so I'm talking about myself. I want to help you guys. Some things you guys can practice at home. These right here, I simply made these from cutting two rods and taking some wheel pump rope, and now I got that. I guess what? Well, well. 
Everybody should have a set of these in their boat or their backpack. Easy to make. I might do a DIY video on how to make these. Um, also got throwing stars. I didn't bring those because I got Tommy John's on my elbow and we'll take the chances. But like I say, you don't have to have these. It's that high kick. You can practice that or leg sweep. Like leg sweep. Anything like that. If he comes at you, if he were to, if he were to be coming at me like this, I would say, hey man, I don't want no problem. I would turn around with leg sweep like that. But thankfully he left. Um, and I really hope you guys can take something away from this video. I know it's been a while. I'm gonna go change my videos up and try to teach you guys a whole lot more of how to handle fishing bullies, bass bullies, um, just real world situations. Okay, Fat Cat Newton, man. I appreciate all y'all. If you would, man, please subscribe to me on over here at YouTube. And definitely follow me on Instagram. I basically post on the gram every day, sometimes every seven or eight days. But and then Facebook can suck it. But yeah, follow me there too, because some of you old people only have Facebook, and I appreciate y'all. I'm not, I'm not designating y'all. Just follow and to do things and make some more videos, and don't let nobody bully you. If they do holler at Fat Cat, I'll come take care of. Them. I'll take care of them for you. <laughs>